the voice of the Octagon, Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge of the Octagon, Herb Dean. This is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the MGM Grand Garden Arena in Las Vegas. It's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC Heavyweight Championship of the world. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a wrestler, holding a professional record of 20 wins, one loss. He stands six feet tall, weighing in at 170 pounds. Fighting out of Boca Raton, Florida, presenting the challenger, Kamaru, the Nigerian Nightmare, Usman. And now introducing the champion, Fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds. Fighting out of Los Angeles, California. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Bruce the Dragon. All right, this is for the championship. You've been giving your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves. Let's make it Inside the octagon. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. And there comes the separation now. Oh, nice scramble by him there. Takedown defense on point. He is a master in transition. Oh, that's a nice strike. Oh, beautiful jab by him there, really taking advantage of what is an obvious edge and reach. And a nice job at least staying upright on that. Misses with the left hook. Oh, I love the jab. I know you love the jab. That was a nice one. It's my favorite punch in all the fight. Oh, you heard a bad with the jab. Oh, and there's a takedown attempt. Not a great entry there, DC. Not a great entry. He showed everything he was going to do. He didn't hide his takedown. You knew from the moment this fight started, he was going to go get a shot off. The opponent was ready, and he defended it perfectly. Nice punch, man, over the top. Takedown defense holds up. Back to the feet now. A lot of power on display from Kamar Usman as he lands yet again there. Kamar Usman showed in the Kobe Covington fight. Not only is he the best welterweight in the world, he may just be the toughest welterweight in the world because he went through the fire in order to retain that title. 90 seconds now to go in round one. Just missed with that right hand. Usman going for the takedown, he misses. And they separate. Oh, look at that jab, snapped his head back. His jab gets to the target so fast, always.
Turns his hand right back to space. Big power shot there. Oh! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Oh, he might be out. Now goes in and secures the takedown. Now he sees the triangle. And this could be trouble here. Looks like it's pretty tight. He's trying to work his head out of harm's way. It, it might be over. A triangle, a triangle. Oh, and there's the horn at the end of the round. How about this fight, folks? You see, he was nearly caught in a submission there right at the end of the round. Saved by the bell. So back to the... You ready to fight? Ready. Good. Lee gets caught with that punch. Well, he hasn't thrown any strikes to the body so far in this fight. He has been a headhunter at times in his career, but at least at this point, Joe, you gotta think it would behoove him to start mixing things up and work some shots to the body. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. He's really making good use of his reach advantage there with that punch. Usman gets in the clinch yet again. And they separate. Caught that kick there. He's rocked. That was a beautiful hook. It landed perfectly, and it hurt his opponent very bad. Ooh, found a home for that knee. Timing his shots nicely here, champ. He's doing a great job of mixing everything up and using a lot of diverse strikes. Well, he's been pretty accurate tonight. He's landed some significant strikes, but his corner's looking for him to mix it up a little bit more and just throw more volume. Because they don't see too much of a threat. This guy has to have confidence in knowing that when he extends his combinations, he's still safe, but he's also going to be able to land. He's got to be finding that confidence in his mind that all the reps in the training room are going to pay off. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. And now he's got that tie clinch. Trying for the throw now in the clinch. Can't bring a good man down. Trying to find a home for that right hand. Well, he was a little bit lackluster in round one. You can't say the same here in this second round. He has really picked up the pace, an uptick in the aggression and the output, and starting to find his range here in the pocket. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Just out of range with that uppercut. Try to establish that jab. Ooh, what a punch. Flips the punch nicely there. Oh, and he caught the kick. He loaded up on that right hand, too. Oh, stuffs the takedown without issue. Ten minutes in the books. All right, so we now look back at some of the action from that previous round, DC. A lot of good highlights on both sides. I mean, a lot of good highlights from both You ready to fight? Ready. Here we go, third round of this championship fight. Nice connection with a the punch there. It's hard to recall a time in the past that his boxing looked this sharp. It's never looked this good. Starting to show some obvious signs of swell. All right, single collar tie now. And they separate. Big ball for the first man. Now we get back to range. Well, he hasn't really showed any signs. 
signs of slowing down tonight, he continues to connect on a high volume of strikes here. That right hand hurt him a little bit. Oh, and there's a takedown attempt, DC. Not a great one. Might as well tell your opponent you're shooting, huh? Yeah, he's your best friend. Tell him that you want to take him to his back and watch him defend and then beat you up with the fight stand. Oh, hollow tie. Big punch lands over the top. How's he going to follow this one? Just missing on the uppercut there. And there's a takedown attempt. In a single collar tie here. Yeah. Oh, that's a sharp hook there by Kamala. Who's man? Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Oh! He is getting lit up right now, John. Really start to apply pressure on his opponent here. Different approach here in the last couple rounds, and it's the exact sense of urgency that you want to see from a fighter. Take the judges out of it. Ooh, head kick lands. He's hurt. Oh my! Oh! He's hurt. Oh. Pressure being applied here as he works out of side control. All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent. You gotta be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. Side control now, DC. A lot of options at his disposal from here. Waiting seconds here of round number three. Well, the ground and pound has been on point tonight. Good work here by Usman. All right, so here we go with our fourth round of a possible five, and a lot of fighters change up their training camp when they're fighting five rounds versus three. Yeah, you got to change it up. You have to mix things up because fighting for an extra 10 minutes is not normal. Guys don't do this normal. It's a 15-minute fight, so you have to do things physically and also mentally. He needs to start getting the finish now because he's got his opponent here very bad. That takedown attempt without issue. Misses again with a right punch. That one snuck in. Nice strike. Well, as my favorite. Oh, right under the elbow. Right under the elbow. It was a perfectly placed shot. And just like that, the fight is over. He's done. He's done. What a performance. Yeah, that right there is a high-level knockout, ladies and gentlemen. Crowd absolutely loving it. Just a perfect shot to end the fight. Landed flush. I'm not even sure his opponent saw it coming. So a huge, huge win for that young fighter here tonight. Well, another highlight for the real DC as we look back at that scintillating knockout. Yeah, but the whole fight was landing great strikes, kicks, punches. He was doing everything.